Today I'll be showing you how to GOM hack MK7. This is something that has been requested by a few people. And so, as you know, Mario Kart 7 also uses SCS files, just like the Wii did. So a lot of people are like, can't you just open them up with Mario Kart Wii SCS modifier? But yeah, the thing is that, that it doesn't just work like that. If you just try to open up something in Mario Kart Wii SCS modifier, it will not work. It'll just fail to open. So, you're going to need to download a program called Every File Explorer. So, to use this, you can you cannot just normally unzip. You have to go to Properties, and then Unblock. Click Just click the Unblock button, and then click OK. And now you're going to right-click Extract All. Save a save it to anywhere you want, and then go to the folder and run the program. So, yeah, first, if you want to actually do something useful with the Mario Kart 7 ROM, or I think this might work with any 3DS hack, but ROM, but I'm just going to be using Mario Kart 7 as a specific example. So. First, you're going to need to decrypt a ROM. So as you can see, I already have all of the course files, driver files, cart files, all that stuff. Because I used a program called 3DS Lazy. I have a tutorial on how to decrypt ROMs. So you're going to need to follow that so that you have like all of the course files and stuff. So yeah, back to the main thing. You're going to open up one of the course files that you want to edit. Like, so, if let's say I want something to replace Toad Circuit. I'll go into the RamaFS course, and then find the Toad Circuit thing. Scroll down until you see a file name that might be it. GCTR Toad Circuit, that seems promising. Hit the open button, and then... It'll and then maximize it just for convenience, and then you'll see a bunch of files. So um, you're gonna want to look for the models. Just ignore these. These like I'll just show you. This is like a map window. This is actually because this is a custom track. So yeah, that just ignore. This is actually not Toad Circuit. This is a different course. So and then. Go to models and then look for a file that's noticeably bigger in size. See, like this one's 1.98, 112, 2.08. Oh, here's one that's 505. So, this is most likely the actual course. So, double click on it to open it up. And then it looks like it looks like it might be. Let's, let's scroll out. Yep, this is it. So you so now that you have uh, now that you have like the textures open and the model, you're going to click on the model GCTR Toad Circuit or whatever model you're using, and click on this green leaf. It'll export it. Say I would recommend making a new folder and just naming it GCTR Toad Circuit. Go inside that folder and then make sure to change this to Wavefront OBJ. So, then click save. And then, let's go back to our file explorer, GCTO Toad Circuit, and as you can see, it did not just save the OBJ, it saved an MTL file, which has no use to humans, only to computers. And textures, it saved all of the, it saved all of the textures to a file, too. So that's useful. So now, like, if you're a good, like, 3D modeler, then you would uh, open up your 3D modeling program, like, I'll just, I'll just use SketchUp for an example, because that's the one that I already have. So, let me just get everything, all, all the windows set up and stuff. Click File, Import, and then you're going to go to your desktop, go to your username, downloads, GCTO Toad Circuit, and change this to, change like the extension to OBJ. Uh, um, 
I don't know why it's not finding any. That's strange. Okay, well, sorry about that. You're gonna actually want you. It never hoots to save it as two file types, so save it as a daemon file too, and then then you use your modeling program. Go back to the folder and change this to day, and then see it'll show up. My computer is not, doesn't have like 16, 32 gigabytes of RAM, so it won't be that good, but... Oh, shit. Okay, so yeah. Now make any edits you want. Make like a new circle or something. Dump some of this stuff in there. Change the textures, whatever you want to do. Then you're going to export it as a 3D model. Save it as, um, we'll just name it new dot day and then export it. And then also if you want, you can save it as a OBJ because, but you have to, I'm not going to explain this, but you have to download a special dot RB file, which is actually a Ruby script and then it'll export it as an OBJ as well. So, yeah, so let's close out of that. And then, so, let's ass let's assume that you've edited the model. And let's say, let's say we want to do a texture edit too. Let's edit a tree. I'll I'm opening this up in paint.net because paint.net is easy to use and it's my favorite. So let's change this to blue. So now we have a blue tree. File, save. And then it should save just like that. So now go back into your every file explorer. You can close out of every window you have by clicking this little X. And then go to File, New from File, Nintendo 3DS Plugin, CTO Graphics CGFX. And then it'll ask you to import a Wavefront OBJ file, so you can probably guess what we're going to do. Let's assume that you've edited this OBJ. So. Model name, save it as course underscore model. That's what I always do, but you can you might be able to do it as whatever you want. And then as it, see it imported the textures too because those are edited tree. It also it loads it it loads the OBJ file and then it also loads it from the textures folder too. So that's how it knows to load these certain textures. So then now that you've got your edited code, or not code, I mean, you know what I mean, edited model and edited textures into the game, you're going to do file, save as, and then go back in you and save it as new um, course.bc. Yes, the, the file extension doesn't matter. So now that you've, so you should have just saved your thing. I, wait, did I cancel it? Oh wait, no, I didn't cancel it, yes. Okay, so then it showed up. So you just saved this. Now go back into your, you're gonna go back into the thing that you originally got the file from. Mine was in CTGP7, RAMFS, course, um, GCTO Toad Circuit dot SCS, and then let and then you see this GCTO Toad Circuit dot BCMDL, and you should have the in in um yeah GCTO you should have the BCRES file somewhere. Uh, my th shit, I think I just lost it. Um, t nope, it wasn't in there. That was completely irrelevant. New, no, I don't think that was it. I 
swear, didn't I just, didn't I just say this new close.bc alias? Okay, um, this is kind of strange. It didn't save it when I told it to, so... I'm gonna save this as... I will save it to my downloads. New close. Okay, there it finally goes. Now, window. We can close out of this. And then see this, uh, this is... 314 kilobytes, this is 505. It will not be exactly the same because, like, of compression and all that stuff. So now that we have a BCRES file, we can... I think that we have to go into here and... Okay, sorry about that. I just paused the video because I was actually unsure myself of what to do, so I was just thinking about just ending the video, but I realized it. When you do the save as, you see it has the BCMDL extension, and then it also adds BCRES. This does not matter, actually. So, we're going to close out of this, and then... You see this is our GCTR toad circuit thing. Do you're gonna right click on the thing, the five hundred five kilobyte in my case one. The one that the original quartz textures and stuff are from. And you're gonna click replace. And then it'll input raw data. It won't it won't ask you for a certain file extension or any of that. So open new quartz dot BCRES and then Sure enough, it imported, and now it's 314 kilobytes. And, let's see, it, everything, it looks like everything worked out. So, now, let's go back into the SCS, and we're going to save this. So, now, GCTR Toad Circuit dot SCS is saved, and now you can just go back into your, um, folder that you had the ROM FS in and GC and the edited file should be in here so yeah it's noticeably smaller than the other ones because it's a custom track and obviously Nintendo spends a lot more time on their tracks than shit I just opened it up and my code we at modifier so obviously Nintendo spends a lot more time on those end hackers do so yeah and just to make sure it works you can open it you can open up the gamma fs just like this um use and then build the gam and then you can just distribute it or whatever you want to do so yeah let's I'll just do this real quick and just save it and see and see if it actually worked. Okay, let's go. Okay, so I'll get back to you on my 3DS with the ROM loaded and let's see if it all we all we edited was the purple trees if you remember back then or blue, whatever color you want to call it. So we should, we should see this somewhere in the course, because that's what we edited and put in the game. So let's hope that this actually worked. I'll get back to you. Okay, so I'm back on my 3DS, and I'm, I have my gateway loaded, so let's load Mario Kart 7. Okay, um, so yeah, the game should load with all of the custom stuff that I already had in the ROM FS because it wasn't like a fresh one, like, I mean, I've been using the same ROM FS for hacking for a while now. I don't want to use Mario. Okay, it was on Toad Circuit, so...
takes forever to load the ghost data. Okay, so I hope this works. It should, but there we go, it loaded. I'm not familiar with this custom track, so I don't know exactly where all of the trees are, but... I don't know where the trees are. I don't. I don't see any trees actually. I just saw like a couple models. But you know what? Next time I should probably edit something that's more noticeable. But yeah, let's just assume it worked because I mean, it imported the custom data in so. Oh wait, I actually... I think that's the trees. It's, it's, it looks like it saved them in like an ultra low quality or something. Or it just saved them with the black background because they must not have been in like PNG. They must have been JPEG or something. But yeah, that's it. It looks like it worked. So I'll be doing a few texture hacks now and then for the 3DS games. So yeah, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment if this helped you. Bye.